In today's video, we're testing out the best AI video generators of 2025 by throwing them into a medieval fantasy scenario. We'll see how each tool handles character movement, physics, lighting accuracy, and cinematic transitions. Our star subject, a fully armored Templar knight ready for battle. I'm going to use this image to test the cinematic potential of each of these AI video generators. We'll generate a short video for each AI and compare the results. Let's see who wins the crown. First up is Kling AI. Their website interface is pretty straightforward. Just upload your image and enter your prompt. The results? Surprisingly cinematic. The establishing shot looks great with dynamic movement and dramatic lighting. However, Kling can sometimes get creative in weird ways. For example, here's one clip that we had, and you can see that the sword is merging with the scabbard, so it mysteriously disappears. Next, we have Google VO2, known for its incredible physics engine and near photorealism. Unfortunately, it doesn't currently allow uploading custom images, so we have to rely on its built-in generation. The final shots look amazing, but it didn't perfectly follow our camera movement prompt because we wanted a shift from low angle to over the shoulder at the end of scene. Moving on to Runway Gen 3, the knight's motion ended up looking stiff. The background lighting also felt off. Overall, the clip lacked the cinematic depth we wanted. Now for Luma Dream Machine. It often outputs lower resolution videos and we saw the same issue here. The final clip was noticeably blurry, severe loss in resolution, and the tool didn't fully respect our camera instructions. No clear over-the-shoulder transition. Minimax, also known as Hailuo, is a Chinese-based generator. It's good at adding motion to static images, and it did follow our prompt fairly well. However, resolution can still be a bit low, and the background elements sometimes feel pasted on. Next is Hunyuan Faifa 2, which struggled with realism. The knight's armor looked warped, and the motion felt off. Overall, it didn't keep up with the scene's complexity. The background lightning also looked fake. Finally, Wan 2.1 by Alibaba. The establishing shot was pretty good, with decent dynamic movement and some fire effects in the background. But the lightning looked unnatural, and it didn't quite capture the polished cinematic feel we wanted. So, who's the winner? Google Veo 2 tops the charts in pure realism, but Kling AI offers a nice balance of creativity and cinematic flair if you can handle a few quirks. Overall, each tool has its strengths. Just make sure you pick the one that fits your project's needs. If you enjoyed this breakdown, smash that like button, subscribe for more AI video content, and let me know in the comments which tool you think delivered the best Templar night scene.